y'all? What's popping? This is D-Boss reacting to this video. This is Uncle Ruckus' funniest moments. Uncle Ruckus is trash, okay? <laughs> he is such a hot mess. He always on some anti-black shit, but you know, Uncle Ruckus. I wonder why they didn't call him Uncle Tom. Because by definition, hmm, but no, they already got Tom on there. But I would think that Uncle Ruckus is more of an Uncle Tom than Tom is on the show. So why didn't they call him Uncle Tom instead of Uncle Ruckus? And they could have called Tom something else. Like, wouldn't that make more sense? I don't know. But let's see his funny moments. Let's watch. I am the soul that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know the... Give me an the way, Kuta, can't they? Yes, sir. I can have. Excuse me. Oh, Lord, how much is security, security. We got a cold black. Cold black at the main gate. Ruckus, what the hell is a cold black? There are some hungry looking niggas at the front gate. What y'all doing here? Delivery are in the back. Really? Oh, yeah. It was in 1957, back in Tennessee. Now, the defendant was accused of shooting three little white women with a Winchester rifle from about 50 yards away. See, now, he thought he was going to get off with that old I'm blind excuse. But, oh, boy, he had another thing coming. The jury will now go off and deliberate on... Guilty! That nigga is guilty! <laughs> Between me and you, your granddaddy... What is wrong with him? Everybody knows nigga can't fight. I'm sorry? You hate me, nigga. Niggas can't fight. They don't possess the strength for character or the mental Look quickness at that to belly. be a great fighter. That's why all the best fighters in the world have always been white. He gonna say Rocky. Jack Dempsey, Rocky Marciano, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, and don't forget Ralph Macchio. You name me one great black heavyweight fighter. Name one. Go ahead, fight. Name one. See that you can't do it. What, 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 what? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you want to pull Ali out your ass? Is that what you think about? Muhammad Ali? Well, that nigga so tough, then why he didn't go to Vietnam? I tell you why, cause he was scared. That's why. Now save me. Wasn't nothing wrong with slave Rick. At least we got good food back there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Why that so could be your. Uh, uh. Where's Gangsta Mischus? Let's say that again. I couldn't hear you over the sound of me shitting myself. Pretty little white chillin'. <laughs> now look at all them precious little vanilla colored faces. I heard this was the only guy they could find to do it. Now I know y'all think old Santa Claus look a little bit darker than he used to, ho ho. But see, that's just cause Santa Claus got a little bit of revitaligo. See, that's the opposite of what Michael Jackson got. Don't worry, ain't no Jesus juice up here. Come on, let's get this show on the road. A la de da de do. Look like we got us the winner of the lucky nigga of the year award. <sighs> they must think the sun shine out your ass. Mr. Wolf has been very nice. Yes. They must think you sitting there fucking podium. Yeah. Well, I've been working for Mr. Wansler for 20 years. He always I ain't been. never got invited to the party. Shoot, he don't even let me use the front door. But you wouldn't know about that now, would you, Mr. Till? Oh, yeah. They must think your shit smell like spring daisies and cinnamon. <laughs> Sir, settle down. You have to go deliberate. I don't need to deliberate. Hang that nigga now. Oh, I got the God. rope right here. Congratulations, Robert. I told you a nigga that black couldn't fight. Woo! Good God. Yes, kids, calm down. A company of parents, calm down as well. I am the real Santa Claus. Ho, 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 look at my belly shake. The heartbreaker revitaligo with a very serious life threatening condition. My name is Uncle Ruckus. No relation.
I think the N word is okay as long as they say it. <laughs> See? Listen to your black ass talk all day about how much you can't stand black folks. Ain't two of them in the history of the world that's worth a squirrel for. Oh, how much you love white folks? Best thing the good Lord ever did for the planet Earth. Ruckus, you black as ace of spades, man. <laughs> I don't see the need for you to go and insult the man after a game of chatter. We've been reminiscing all day, looking in each other's eyes, acting like we like each other. Now you gotta go ahead and remind me of my ailment. man. Ailment? That's right. You heard the vitiligo? Shoot. Well, I got real vitiligo. Every year my skin just seemed to get blacker and darker and blacker and then more darker. <laughs> it's the opposite of what Michael Jackson got. Lucky bastard. And so, brothers and sisters, you know I... Hey, shut the hell up, you black son of a bitch. What's wrong with y'all? Thank God for the white I man up for mercy, Christ. Martin Luther King. I don't remember this. Because if it was up to me, I'd unleash the hound and turn y'all niggas into puppet child. I was happy at the back of the bus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Say, my good man, that's Uncle Roku. It's French. I'm part Roku. French from Cherokee Indian. We're just a split splash Irish. I'm Ruckus, how could you possibly love white people so much? It's easy. Have you ever looked at them? White man just enjoy to be around. They smell like lemon juice and pledge furniture cleaner. What? Now look at them. They gave us discipline, jobs, put structs in our lives, took us out the jungle. And what we do to show our appreciation, we march up and down the street, we vote, carry on, in grace. This is just more proof the white man made a tragic misjudgment when he made it legal to teach niggas to read and write. Paint faster. Oh, what? 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 You call that art? Huh? Ain't no nigga ever been good at drawing. If Michelangelo had been black, Jesus would look like George Jefferson. Keep painting. Well, let me just say this, huh? If it's one place thing that the <laughs> man is good at, it's cooking a pig. Well, you have it. That ain't to say a white man couldn't cook a pig better. His big brain just focus on more important things, like running the world and spaceships. Quit saying what that white man want, a boy! And you, turn off that goddamn jungle noise! What? You heard me! Turn off that goddamn black I'm going to pin it there, Lane. A little monkey friend water all down my esophagus and hit my nether region. That's right, I'm... And big lips can't pronounce. Doctors say they can't operate. But praise be the white God and his son, White Jesus. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Ruckus. You're not contagious, are you? Just contagious with the Holy Spirit of our Caucasian Savior. I'm on a mission from God. From Let God. me share his <laughs> way with you. Come, child of God. Come. Yeah, I find it just... Well, if it ain't the brave men and women of the police department, come save the day. Get out of the truck and show me some ID. ID. Oh, that's a fine mm, idea. Back part of your Can't be too careful. I'm just going to reach into my pocket and take out my plate to oil and water. Light his ass up. I'm sure you'll get me next time. Oh Goodbye. my God! Bring the gather around to hear the good news. God is white, and He loves the white man above all others. All right! Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! Sorry. Don't be sorry, white man. Only niggas and Mexicans are sorry. Be joyful. God loves you. That's why he made his only begotten son in your image. God hates darkness. 
So help me God. Congratulations, yeah. Officer yeah. Uncle Corpus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You know, <clears throat> people been asking me if I'm upset about what happened yesterday. I say no. Ruckus is not upset. Because the swift and measured response of these officers is a fine example of my tax dollars hard at work. And I just want you all to know that I hope to live up to the fine example of those men. And I hope to harass and beat each and every black person I see with extreme prejudice. Hear ye, hear ye. White God is a good God. Even darkness can rejoice. For even one's case with the skin of cold can enter the gates of paradise if he hates his own blackness. And white Jesus' his name, amen. What? That's right, Robert Freeman. You must hate thyself to save thyself. What? How does that make sense? Including the African Americans. Just don't stay too long, darkies. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. You see, the blackness in our skin represents sin. Which is why God wants us to hate the black in us. Yeah. She's talking about yes. Get out of here. Get out of here right now. What's wrong? Why they fight each other? Good. So you believe God is white? First of all, white man, let me say that I love you, honor you, envy you, enjoy your smell, and I celebrate you in the name of white Jesus. Um, uh, thank you. No, thank you. Look at that. That's a handsome young man, ain't it? Now, if God looked like Isaac Hayes, you think his son would look like this? So, black people are a cursed, 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 and all those like me, and cause them misery, just like your servant Ronald Reagan did. And if any of my ways don't come directly from the almighty God himself, then may I be struck by lightning right this very instant. Hallelujah! The lightning bolt that saved Shabazz's life seemed to have struck Uncle Ruckus on his tomb. Get his ass. Doctors will find no remaining signs of his cancer. And that's crazy. I didn't remember a lot of these moments. I just didn't. So I don't know what seasons they were from. Like I said, I, I watched a lot of the earlier seasons. I think maybe season one and two. I don't know how many seasons there are. Four, five? Um, but I think I watched like all of the episodes from like season one and two. Maybe three? I don't remember. But after a while, I didn't watch it as much because I just felt like it wasn't as funny. And that's probably when... The writer, Ryan, whatever his name is, like, stopped uh, writing for this show. But supposedly he's about to come back for the next season, so I'm definitely going to watch it. But, yeah, a lot of these moments I didn't remember, so I don't know what season they're from. But he is such a hot mess. He is such trash. Like, and I don't know how it's going to fly nowadays when people are, like, super sensitive and offended by everything. Like, how is Boondocks going to work with having Uncle Ruckus on the show? People about to be in their feelings about it. But I, I think it's funny because it definitely represents an extreme, like, portrayal of, like, old school, older black people. Obviously not all of them, but I have come across some, like, older black people who are hella self-hating. Like, they are heavy, heavy coons because they grew up in this era where you know black people were demeaned super heavy so that self-hatred is like it runs real deep in some of them to where they be saying certain shit and it's like bruh like you a disgrace so yeah he definitely represents that they ain't lying obviously this is super extreme i ain't never seen nobody act <laughs> like this to this extent like they put it on heavy 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 but Hey, it got some accuracy to it. But, yeah, I wonder how people are going to react to him, like, on Boondocks in 2020. Because I think that's when a new season is coming. But, anyway, this is a funny video. Let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other video you want me to react to. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!